Hey everybody, Brian Gardner here, WordPress advocate at WP Engine. I'm really excited today. I'm kicking off a series called Five Things I Love About WordPress. The first one is around the Google font aspect of the web font API that is new to WordPress 6.5. Let's get started. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite uh, features that are new to WordPress, and I think users all over the globe are gonna love this. Uh, by default, the Frost WordPress theme uses the outfit font. It's a font uh, you can find at Google Fonts, um, but I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is uh, to replace that now using the WordPress site editor. Prior to this, folks would have to use theme JSON, register, and bundle fonts with their theme, but just check this out. I'm gonna go into the dashboard and I'm gonna to go to appearance and I'm gonna to go to the editor. I'm gonna click on the right hand side. Uh, in the upper right hand corner, there's the styles and I will click on typography and you'll see here there's sort of a section here for fonts. This is what by default, like I mentioned, uh, outfit font, which is served with the Frost theme. But if you click this little toggle here, you'll see it says manage fonts. When I click that, I'm served a modal, which shows the theme fonts and if for some reason I chose to use a font that uh, I had purchased and downloaded and have local files, uh, I can do that right here. So if you have uh, a favorite font, maybe Avenir or Freight or something to that effect that you've uh, bought and you have like the, uh, the WAF files or whatever, you could upload those there. Uh, but this next tab here, Install Fonts, is the, the best right here. Connect to Google Fonts where you just allow access and the Google font directory in its entirety is now been connected. So for instance, if I'm a fan of Enter, I can select uh, the font that I want, the weights that I want, and watch how easy this is. I'm gonna hit install. I'm gonna go back to my library and now you can see it's an installed font. Now going into the site editor, you'll see here, I can now use Enter anywhere uh, I have the ability to. So if I wanna change the entire site's text, I can click here, you can see my options now are enter and watch how it changes. Now, if I hit save and go to the front end, you'll see that everything is now using enter. And of course I can uh, alter uh, other settings in typography, size, spacing, weights and stuff like that. Uh, and so uh, maybe for instance, you wanna use enter throughout, uh, but maybe only in paragraphs you wanna use um, something else or headings or something like that. So you can click on these sort of at a global level uh, and you can see here, I can go back to outfit just for uh, the headings and then you can go in and edit other things. That's how easy it is to add a Google font now. So you can play around in the site editor, add some Google fonts. I recommend not installing many if you're not gonna use them all. Uh, in other words, if you test them out, go back and as I show you right here, you can go in, you can select delete, and it'll delete everything and go back to uh, what you had. And as you can see, this shows unformatted. That's trying to apply the enter that we just deleted. So if you click right here uh, and do reset styles, it'll reset back to the outfit font. Isn't that amazing? That's great. Just very easy process now for people to install Google fonts. These fonts get stored uh, locally. Uh, either on your local machine here in this case, like I, I have local, the app running uh, or on my server, it uh, puts them in the WP content slash uploads directory. So installing Google fonts, super easy to do for users now, thanks to WordPress uh, 6.5 and keep watching the series, five things I love about WordPress because there's so many things now that are great with WordPress. Can't wait to share them all with you. Have a great day.